is going on guys and welcome back and I bet any money you guys did not expect me to be making a video right now. So tonight I've actually been invited to a different game, uh, it's not to do with West Ham this video sadly, but I did get invited to Millwall versus QPR of the 2018-19 championship season. Now I could not go to this, I got offered a ticket, I, I was I was said to eat, my, my friend who goes QPR home and away, he's very very religious to him, he's been following him since uh, they were in the premiership back in 14-15. So he's been to a lot of QPR games for his time and like, you know, he's not he's not a very old guy, he's only a little bit younger than me. But he's been going a lot and fair play to him following QPR and he said to me, I've got a spare ticket, if you're not doing anything, would you like to go? And I couldn't say no to going to another London derby. I love London derbies, I couldn't not go. And also, I haven't been Millwall for a long time, to be honest, not for a couple of seasons now. When actually with Braintree, when Millwall played Braintree in the FA Cup a few years back, but that's the last time I went there, I didn't vlog that game either. Today, I mean, I, I would love it if QPR could win. I'm, well, obviously, I don't want Millwall winning. I'm still West Ham, but I've got, I'm going to enjoy this game. I couldn't say no to going to a London derby, as I said. I'm just so, so excited. I want QPR to win this game. I want them to win it by 2-1, I'm going to say. I'm going to try and be a little bit hopeful for them. Just going to see what it's like, because obviously I've never actually been... I've been QPR's ground before. I went with Brentford a few years ago. But I've never actually been um, with QPR on the way day. So I have no idea kind of what to expect. And I just want to kind of enjoy this. Enjoy the experience of another London derby, obviously, and in a few days, some of obviously got to go to Manchester United as well. So it's going to be good. I cannot wait, and uh, I actually really appreciate my friend getting me a ticket. I'm really excited for this. So let's get to the vlog now. Let's get to Millwall. All right, guys, at the den now. Excited, hoping for QPR win. To be honest, I can't. Do you know what? I want them to win this. I can't ever want Mill to get anything. So, come on, let's let's get a good game. I can't wait. Just to be honest with you, not really bothered. Just I just hope it's a good game. To be honest, I hope it's just not boring. I hope both teams will go for it. Like both of them in the relegation battle in the championship. I'm just hoping both sides go for it. So I'm going go for a two-two. I'd be really happy with goals galore. And yeah, let's get to it. <laughs> Boys, they want this. They're always away against the bear. QPR was shot. I mean, immediately, not even a minute into the game, and the QPR players shot from far out, flew into the uh, cold blow lane, wherever that is from Millwall's uh, uh, stand over there. But yeah. So much is what West Ham mentality. Just like I really, I don't. Your support is fucking shit. Your support, your support, your support is fucking shit. Do the RFC. Come on, my city. Hey, hey, QPR fans, I've proper up this. It's been all QPR possession. The current uh, hard to miss them out because they're wearing pink. But. Um, to go for this Millwall and QPR back and forward all game. Oh, 
Alright guys, it's half time, nil nil. Honestly, no shots on target from either side yet, but at the end of the day, like, you look at this game, it's the scene that... Oh mate, no, what, what has he done? He's trying to put, my mate's trying to put me a QP up. It's just not going to happen, is it? Like, it truly depends what side's going to take the first shot first. No shots on target, but I do feel QPR have been the better side. I think, if I'm honest, try not to uh, sound too crazy here, but I think the referees uh, let a lot of things go at QPR. I think QPR have caught into a lot of fouls, but the referees have sort of blown it away. I do feel QPR have been the better side, though, either way. Um, it just, they just need to take a shot. QPR have had some chance, and Mill will have, but no one's had that clinical shot yet. Both ends with a great opportunity. Mill will have a good opportunity. They can put it away. QPR, opposite end. QPR just not putting something in the back of the net. It's all they're lacking now. I, I tell you what, it's been most of the time it's been more, but the last 10, 15 minutes have just been all QPR. They've just got to try to put something away. QPR again. My God, I can't believe on the counter. On the counter attack is lethal. Coming towards the end of the game now. It's been nil, but it's been one hell of an exciting game. I've loved it. Nil nil full time. What a hell of a game. Very exciting. I'm really surprised there wasn't any goals. Either side, I still think there should be one to each, but there we go. Keep passing. Very, very happy with the draw. Especially then relegation zone. That's what I need, I suppose. From the game now it was mill nil qpr nil um yeah I, I, do you know what like going into the game like i, I was hoping that qpr would uh, get a win to be honest with you like going as neutral is hard to go as neutral especially when like being a west ham fan it is it's a very hard one um but i thought overall realistically that was a fair result i thought the referee for both sides was quite shambolic to be honest with you but um you know i'm not gonna Number for me personally, I think that puts um, I think that puts QPR another point away from the relegation zone because Rotherham lost tonight and uh, looking at it. But the table, the chap, that game was absolutely brilliant, brilliant atmosphere from um, both sides. It was really, really fun to watch as well. I really enjoyed it, and uh, you know, like you just you got to enjoy these games because you know if I'm not going to say no to go into a game like that, a London derby and the lights, another one, two London derbies in the past two games. It's just been absolutely brilliant. I loved every second of it. Obviously, the next game is Man United with West Ham uh, on Saturday, 5.30 kickoff, and I'm not feeling confident at all. Uh, I actually think that Man United are going to smash West Ham as much as I hate to say it. Um, I'd rather, you know, I'm going to try going in the high hopes. They've just lost to Barcelona tonight with a Luke Shaw own goal. I think there was some VAR in the Man United cha um, Barcelona Champions League game as well for something. I, can't, I haven't quite seen it yet, but I've just heard about it. So, or oh, a bit of controversy going on already in that game. But, you know, like... I can't wait to do it. It's going to be good. And, you know, we just got to try to go there and give our best. If you guys enjoy a video like this, a bit different, not going to West Ham all the time, drop a like on it. Do you think uh, QPR Mill will stay up or do you think one of them is going to get relegated? Really I'd love to hear your opinions below. And how do you think West Ham are going to do against Manchester United on Saturday? I'd love to hear, you, I'd love to hear all about it down below. And if you haven't already, guys, do not forget to hit that subscribe button. I will see you guys very soon.